Go greetings, I am Lies and I use she, her. And I am Scandal and I use they, them. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. Oh, yes. righty. Uh, oh my okay. gosh. Okay. So in the process of saving this thing, we clicked forward one, one. dialogue box. Yes. Yeah, so, so if you are here from the last one, you've missed nothing. This is just the next dialogue. This is just literally the next line. Oh uh, yeah, uh, we've got a better idea of the situation, I guess. The doctor's working in the lab. The gray dome covers the entire school, but for one small hatch. And we can use the maintenance office as a base. Uh, uh Mr. Right. Mr. One did say. He did, he did say. Indeed. He suggested we visit the headmaster's office. Uh, yeah, uh. it's on the first floor. Uh, let's go. I, I still cannot believe how goddamn long this is. And, and, and thank you for being with us for that huge episode last, because I was just going... Is, is, this I is just enormous. kept thinking, and as far as I can, like, based on what I'm seeing now, I'm like, this is as big as the rest of the game. Yes, this is huge, but you make far less choices, as far as I can Well, and in this version, I guess you make almost no choices, but... Yeah. Oh, uh, Headmaster! Uh, so, uh, Are you actually here? Ah, uh, you within. We demand entry. A uh, rude, even to the Headmaster. Rude. I'm rude. How rude? Even <laughs> uh, my rudeness is distributed... Unanimously to everyone. Equally to all. To Without all. bias. Without bias. Unbiasedly, I hate everyone. <laughs> I wonder if the doctor is the only person in the entire school who he actually respects. I'm still rude to him, even though I respect him. No reply. Let's go in. Oh, wait, that's Akuya. Yeah, yeah that, that's. Uh, if he happens to be naked, so bad for him. It's locked. It's locked. Um, it's locked? Bah! Where is that old geezer? Uh, maybe he's pretending to be out, so we'll, we'll go away? Indeed. He never was the type to walk about the campus. Or perhaps he has locked the door from the inside and plans to stay inside until the siege lets up. Shall we wait around? We have no time for such frivolities. We should go outside and look in the window. Oh, I mean, we shall enter this room if it means reducing the door to a miserable pile of splinters. That is actually a weird plot point of going, if your, uh, basically your, your principal's office mm -hmm. at all has a window to the outside, you can fly. Yeah. This literally, like, you could break this game by going, we can fly. I could literally go into one of the classrooms. You could potentially just lift a chair uh -huh. because we still don't know how big these birds are and just throw it at the goddamn window. Uh-huh. And you could also see whether or not he was there. Yep. Like, hey, man. If he screeches mightily when the window shatters with it because a chair was flying through it, well, he's in there. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. It's the headmaster's door. I don't think it will be easy to break down. It's reinforced. In case of a bomb strike. Which I mean, sounds actually really strange. Like, mm, it's reinforced. Why would it be reinforced? Because the headmaster has privileges. You speak the truth. Uh, uh, let us ask Nanaki if there isn't a key to open from the outside. Oh, yeah. We, we can head back to the... Uh, oh. Uh. Creek. Uh. Creek. What is it? Kawara? I think... I thought I heard something. Yes, me too. I hear nothing. I mean, no, I did not. Perhaps you are imagining things because I don't want to act afraid. Like something being dragged across the floor. Uh, listen, there it is again. Uh, behind. It doesn't sound like something being dragged across the floor. Huh? It sounds like a door, a creaky door. Yeah, it sounds like, like a really creaky door. That is not the same. Oh, what the heck? What the fuck? What is that? What? What is this? That is not a bird. That is not a bird. What? Uh, a robot? Question mark? The fuck? It's the Scarecrow Tin Man. <gasps> <gasps> Suddenly behind us stood... A gigantic scarecrow-like creature. A rough burlap sack for, for a head. It is the bad scarecrow ten-man crossover you did not need. Oh, God. What? Second class. This is just... Yes, cut this is so long. Ah. Ah, what in... No, no, no. Uh, I... The, the scarecrow man draws closer, dragging its long, ungainly metallic arm behind it. It only so has one... Ungangly long arm. The other arm is normal. It's normal. There's also fine. like blood on that side. Or something. Yeah. But definitely red shadow. Uh, Sakuya, well, watch out! It's okay, he's just trying to fight. Oh, no, he's attacking. Never mind. It's arm um, slices through the air, smashing the window into tiny shards. The, which... Wait, 
scattered across the hallway floor. The window. What's the window? What is the window? The window of what? The window where? What? What? We don't know what it is, but apparently it isn't friendly. Also, it's attacking windows. Uh, or just what? swinging down in the hallway. And Wildly? And, crash and and hit it, happening to hit windows as it does so. I'm so happy, uh, We have to run! I am well aware. Come on. Uh, we don't run. Royalty, do not. Ra, is, uh, run! Uh, we have to run faster! I uh, do not sport! Uh, Especially, actually, they pointed out with Sakuya, really, it's just like, I am not good at this at all. Sakuya's Poirot, don't you know? Uh, yeah. I hate the outside, I hate nature. Why can't nature be more like buildings? Uh, Organized and clean. And clean, tidy. Why is there so much dirt in nature? Hi, uh, did we lose it? Dying at the top of the stairs, completely flat pigeon wings, just bleh. I, I think so. Uh, lucky it moves so slowly. Uh, what? Was it just completely like I am? I am defeated. I cannot scoot an inch farther. Surely no one could devise a prank as bizarre as that. It looked like a a biped. It was humanoid, but I don't think it was a human. I've never heard of a human made of metal and burlap, and I've heard of a lot of things: a murder, the dome, and now this. I know not who is behind these trickeries, but they must have a. Death wish to mock me, so. Uh, for now, uh, we will have to get back to the lab. Uh, we need to warn Mr. Nanaki. Does it show the. <gasps> it's fine. We could have used it to break the door to the principal's office down. Oh, uh, welcome back. Uh, Kawara? Uh, Shirogane? Shirogane? Would you like some tea? Is, it, is this really the time? We cannot afford to relax now, Professor. Hmm. So I take it something happened? Oh, the headmaster! He must have been hiding from the scarecrow! He smashed the window! The one window in the entire school. It's still just the, the window. window. Not a window. Not a specific window. Not a specific window. window. Not like the window in the hallway. Not like the window on the door. Just the window. The window. Apparently the school only has one window. Except for we open windows in the classroom. Ah. Calm yourself, Kawara. You will become incoherent. You've become probably would be more accurate. Or it could you just be become... accusatory. You do this thing. Oh, you become when incoherent. You, you yeah. know, when you're in a hurry or whatever. Uh, so sorry. Y you're not yourself without a Snickers. You put this in your face. <laughs> you're yourself when you're hungry. Oh, 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 oh. We were attacked by a gigantic creature outside the headmaster's office. It was a bizarre thing, like a scarecrow in appearance, which we're birds, uh, so we all know what it is. A scarecrow? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, but like the ones humans used to make. It attacked us, and we ran back here. It was slow, but its arm was, was heavy and, and dangerous. Just that one arm. Are the other students still in the gymnasium? Is a scarecrow a natural disaster? I need to know. Uh, probably not all of them. There's no adult literally that are supervising them at all, so I can't see why they would just stay. I know, right? There's no other adults that exist in this game. I if there's something dangerous in here, we should probably tell every birdie to stay together in the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. The plot thickens indeed. Not only are we trapped under this confounded dome, but now it seems we must contend with this Mysterious new guest. Monstrous? Sorry. Monstrously <laughs> mysterious new guest. Uh, I wonder what the Scarecrow Man's connection is to all of this. To all of this is. It's okay. Oh, Our God. dummy in the corner is beefier than him. I think he could take him. <laughs> hey, Scarecrow Man? You say? You say? 339,000. A uh, doctor! You say? The doctor! Fascinating. I've never cut into one of those. I'd love to get my hands on it. <laughs> uh, have you finished the autopsy, Doctor? Yes, for now. I will autopsy more later, but later. it's finished for now. I was awake here the, the whole time. Don't worry. I poor thing. Uh, thank you, Mr. Nanaki. Hmm. Well, you two may well have a right to know what I've found, given your efforts towards the investigation. I shall try to state simply and briefly what I have learned from the lumps of meat which were once Miss 
Nazi pa. I will state it simply and briefly because your brains are the size of peas and not nearly as good as mine, and I do not believe you will understand if I do not keep it brief. Yeah, you're still an asshole. Uh, control yourself, Kawara. <laughs> Falling out among ourselves w would only do us harm. I know. <laughs> Anyway, we lack the tools for a proper examination, but, but... we did an improper one. The cause of death was asphyxiation. An improper one. There are no signs of any strangulation or smothering, so she was either poisoned or sick. She was... She was dismembered. After death, then. Doctor... It would appear so. There is little evidence of bleeding, so we may assume that she was cut up some time after death. Boyda was one of the healthiest people I know. Uh, she couldn't have become that sick that quickly. Uh, meaning someone poisoned her. I'm still just we performed an improper examination. I, I just it reminds me really badly. Okay, I just I just have to jump back to a thing really it's fine. So, um, back in school, one of the dumbest jokes I ever heard was in reference to um, the Wizard of Oz, and is and, and you just do one very very slight change in reference to you know the the um, uh, the coroner's song in there. Okay, right. you know as coroner, I must have her. I thoroughly examined her. <laughs> and yeah. she's not so improperly examined. Yes. <laughs> um, we on this channel do not king shame. No, okay. Uh, I uh, uh, why? Uh, for the sake of the grotesque, or to make her easier to carry, or for some other reason, disgusting in any of those cases, because that was more than an either way. I suppose I should also tell you the estimated time of death. Obviously, I cannot be completely certain, but uh, I believe that Miss Seedpa died yesterday after school. You know, when we went to the infirmary to check on our friend, that I... shark. In the evening, then, because that's when school ends. I'm a very smart bird. Precisely. I've got and it. And she was found this morning. Yeah. Actually, by Ryuta. Der, near, near, near. In other words, unless she was seen yesterday afternoon, she may have been here all along. Kawara, her house was near yours, was it not? Did you see her yesterday? After school? Um. Uh. uh no, uh, I didn't. My mother asked me to run some errands, so I, I went straight home uh, yesterday. It's really important. So That's you're... right. I went home alone. It's too late to regret it now, but maybe if I just asked her to walk home with me. Hmm. I see. Perhaps we should ask any other students with whom she was close. No one. Uh, you're going out again? Be careful. It sounds like wandering around the school could be, be dangerous. Uh, don't worry, uh, we can outrun the scarecrow if it shows up again. And it's dragging its really long arm in a really loud kind of way, so that helps. Uh, incidentally, I went home early yesterday, too. After sending Seed Pie to the infirmary. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I left as soon as class ended, so I only know what a uh, Ryota has, has told me. I wish I had some useful information, but... Uh... Are you going to remember that you may be the last person who saw her? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I was in the infirmary right up until I returned home, as usual. I know nothing of what happened in the rest of the school, sadly. So, uh, uh, neither Mr. Nanaki nor Dr. Iwamine saw Boda yesterday afternoon. Oh, all right. Uh, could we ask a favor you, Mr. Nanaki? Uh, a favor? A favor. The headmaster's office is locked. Uh, we think he might be hiding in there. If there's a spare key to his door, uh, could we use it? I would think that it'd be far more likely that your janitor would have that than these guys. Yeah. Just saying. A uh, spare key? Mm. Mm, yes, there should be one in the faculty room. I I'll ask the vice principal for you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, we'll be back soon. Uh, uh, be, <clears throat> be careful out there. Do it. Uh, you too, sir. Suddenly, Sakura, you're just quiet. I've said my piece. I've done it. I'm a man. Uh. Uh, and then that's leaving. Oh, and then the, the uh -huh. and then you see what that, what happens without them. Uh, Kawara is a strange boy. I wonder why he lied about going straight home. Hmm. hmm. 
Also, why you didn't mention sending Seed Pie to the infirmary. We won't be able to talk to the headmaster until we have that key. Let us work on the murder case until then. You mean until we walk to the space that might is supposed to have the key? Right. All right. Uh, we should ask everybody where they were yesterday. Uh, the doctor said he was in the infirmary and, until he went home. I wonder if we can trust him. Do not bias yourself with baseless suspicions. Kawara, it's going to be very difficult to ask everyone in the gymnasium where they were. Yeah, I know. But they'll make it actually really easy because, um, honestly, there's there's actually, like, very few of us. Because you don't ask any of them. I think, uh, maybe you trust him a little too easily, uh, Sako, yeah, huh? He's, he's a world authority, but that doesn't make him honest. You know nothing of what that means. Gracism! You, you do not understand people who have elevated themselves through study and achievements and merits. It's a personal backstory. In the meritocracy. The head of the Libel family. My father was once crippled with chronic illness. He was cured by medicines developed by Dr. Iwamine. He, he makes medicine? <laughs> You're kidding. Save the sleep, um, save the sleep talk for your dreams. Have you no idea what contributions he made to the medical world? Uh, I, I didn't know. Uh, I thought he was some kind of mad scientist cooking up nothing but death and all around woe. Death and woe. Death or woe? Death and woe. You, you have become biased by the foolish rumors of the peasantry. Reconsider yourself. Honestly, like, as most people say, it is far more irrational with rich people being crazy and doing things to other people because they just go, I, I, have, I have plenty of things that actually, like, I want to keep and maintain and nobody will miss a poor person. The peasantry. <laughs> in any case, the Lebel family is indebted to him. A noble bird will never treat a benefactor with disrespect. You always want more contributions to yourself. Ah, uh, so uh, that's why he's so polite to the doctor. Does that make him biased as well, though? I mean, yes, yes it does. absolutely. And he's arguing that his bias uh, doesn't count. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's go. Well, because I'm a noble bird. If you are a real noble bird, is what it says also by saying that, mm -hmm. you won't be basically biased towards anyone, or basically you will also treat whoever it is with respect. Mm -hmm. But it's also like if they... That's just a self-fulfilling thing. They, they treat you well, so you treat them well, but even if they treat other people if like I shit... Scratch my, if you scratch my back, and I'll I scratch. scratch my back, then my back gets really scratched. It's scritchy scratch. Uh, very well. Uh, go to, uh... uh we're gonna center? go to the gymnasium. All right, let's do it. Gymnasium. We do get to make a couple of choices, we wildly. Do. They are really few and far between, though. As yeah, far it as feels like more like the intro again. Uh, the students in the gymnasium have grown somewhat restless since the evacuation. Shut and the up. fact that there's no one there at all directing them in any way. Shut up with no explanation, and now there's a suspicious individual wandering the campus. I guess even doves lose their cool eventually. Are they using pigeon and dove interchangeably? I think they are. I think they really are. Pigeons it's frustrating and doves. me because I'm like, they're, they're different things. As far as I understand, they are. They uh, are. Asan! Asan! Where are you? Like, there's actually a difference. Ooh. Like, we learned last time that sparrows and Ooh. finches are very distinctive things. People but will the, mix them some up, people, but they are. Yeah, that some people mistake them for each other. And the same thing with pigeons and doves, but they are different. Damn it. Uh, where are you? Goo! Oh, Asan is right here! Alive! And well! So far. Goo -goo. Where did you and Sakuya go? Leaving Okazan behind and going outside is not fair! You just. you just confuse the issue if we brought you along. Uh, we came back because uh, we had a question for you. Go! Cool. Come at me, whippersnapper! Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, that's not what I, um. Uh, you usually practice on the ground after school, right? Cool, cool! Of course! It's Okazan's duty as track captain. Did you see Blooder while you were out there yesterday? Cool! No, Okazan did not see her, or as he was going home. Uh, Can we really be sure that he would have noticed her, even if she had been there while he was running? A good point. Coo coo! Do not look down on Okazan's visual memory. Coo! If you had asked Okazan about the blood-stained interloper he saw, then he would have had something to say. Oh, oh. he saw. Something. He saw someone. Someone else, not uh -huh. her. Going, did uh -huh. you see anything unusual? We didn't ask that. No. We asked if you saw a bird. Yeah. And he's like, well, you didn't ask me if I saw anything unusual. That's usually why you go, you start at a, hi, have you seen this person? And going, and then did you see anything unusual? And then people go, wait, is this in connection? Or you start with a, hi, did anything unusual happen yesterday? And then you lead into more specific information. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Son, whoa, whoa. what did you just do? Uh... Do not look down on Oko-san's visual memory. After that, imbecile. Cool. If you had asked Oko-san, it went back. What? No, it's, it's repeating because Okusan. Oh, because what did you just. And he was repeating himself. Yeah. Interloper, he saw, and he would have said something to say. Cuckoo! Okusan saw the interloper going to the infirmary. The infirmary? Could, could that have been Boida? She wouldn't have been stained with blood until after she died. She was a bit hyper, but I don't think she should be walking around at that point. Cuckoo! It was not Burda, it was a bird! Unknown to Okusan. So, uh, someone covered in blood was going into the infirmary after school? Who in her? Uh... Whoever it is, is our prime suspect now. Now, uh, thanks for telling us, son. Let's not ask any more questions. I also not ask anyone else. Yep. It's okay. You're the only student. At least we found something. Something. Even if it raises more questions than it answers. Oh, uh, yeah. Some bird who San doesn't know. Could it have been from someone outside the school? It's past noon already. Let's hurry onwards. 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 We must keep going. Honestly, like, I really am just disappointed that this isn't, like, a mystery. Like, one of those little point-and-click mysteries that you can just tap around like my friends mm -hmm. going, I'm really like, no, this seems like it sets up for that, and then it doesn't... It really does. It behaves again like a point-and-click. Like, you have to find objects and solve problems, and even with the find the key, figure out how, how to open the door, like, all of it is set up like a point-and-click game that doesn't have point-and-click. Uh, Mr. One? <laughs> you two again. Come in. How goes the investigation? Well, I hope... Uh, we... We went to the headmaster's office, as you requested. It was locked, however... Uh, yeah, we got attacked by this weird thing outside there. I'm glad you're okay. The office isn't that far from... That's you, yeah? Was that thing a muddy scarecrow-like man, perhaps? Poof, Yuya's here. Uh, a uh, Yuya! I also love the fact that suddenly they don't give you question mark, question mark, question mark. They're just like, it's They're like, it's just you, yeah. You can actually hear the person's voice. So, you've seen it too, filthy commoner. Just now, yeah. On the second floor. I caught a glimpse of it from behind, at the other end of the corridor, and didn't stick around to let it see me. So, alas, I was not blessed with a look at its pretty face. Beautiful face. Only its lovely ass. <sighs> Coward. <laughs> Coward. Oh, well, hey, uh, we, we ran away as soon as we saw it, too. Shut up, Sakuya. Anyway, Coward. it sounds like it's wandering around the building. Maybe it would be better for you to leave, Mr. One? Mr. One. I still like Mr. E, Mr. One. Mm. Uh, don't worry for me, young one. My duties prevent me from leaving this room. What? Uh, you, uh, you two aren't planning to call of your investigation because of a bad guy or two, either. Well, uh, yeah, th that's true. Hmph. Already stuck in the rut of unadaptable middle age. Don't come crying to us if you get hurt. Are you just, like, pointlessly being an asshole, Sophia? Pretty much. Like, sometimes I'm just like, I need to have a line here because I'm here. Like... Sagi, I just shut I up. I just like, need to be an ass to be an ass. I've come within touching distance, distance of death in the past. I will be fine. Implication being, you will be fucked. I, I wonder what kind of death comes that close to a maintenance worker. Oh, you'd be right. surprised. Oh my god, you'd be surprised. Uh, then again, knowing this school, there could be all kinds of evil going on behind the scenes. Well, then, what are you standing around for? I believe orders were given for everyone to gather in the gymnasium to avoid the scarecrow. The same goes for you. Oh, why aren't you headed over there? Erp. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't just sit around. Indeed. Uh, same here. Hence, walking around the school. On that note, I'd better go to the lab. Professor Naki wanted me there. What for? Something you asked him to do. Oh. Uh, uh, he wants you to help him keep an eye on... Doctor Iwamine. Most likely, yes. The doctor and Burner, that is. Anyway, you, you two go on with your investigation. I'll be watching over her, so don't worry. All right! Uh-huh! Huh. Huh. Wait! Wait. Wait. Yeah? According to the autopsy, Seed Bird died after school yesterday. Did you see her during that time? 
Yesterday evening. Huh. What did the doctor say? <laughs> Just that he'd been in the infirmary all day. I was there too. We were inspecting and cleaning all day, so I can't verify. So I can verify the doctor's alibi. You first checked to see what the doctor's alibi was, and then said you can corroborate it, assuming that he would also corroborate then your alibi. Okay, that's weird. That actually, what like, did he say? Checking what he said first means that you're tailoring what you said based on what he said. I, yeah, no, that's... That, that is suspicious, that my is super bird. Sus. My bird, you sus. Uh -huh. I told you not to doubt him without evidence. Except for the fact that, like, Shu didn't mention that Yuya was with him, with him at all. Mm -hmm. The fact that he comes up with that is going to be sort of, I wonder, like a signal to um, Shu to go, Hi, I'm working with you now. I've been and with Shu you will go, all day yesterday. And then Shu will be like, What? I... Yeah. Sure. Uh -huh. All right, but also if you never confirm with Shu again, then it you just could, works. Yeah, then it will uh -huh. just work. He's just backing Shu's alibi, and that's it. At this point, the prime suspect is that scarecrow anyway, because fuck that. No, noise. it's not. That's terrifying. It's a bird that came in bloody yesterday. That is the prime suspect, not uh -huh. that. We literally just established, my dear Ryuta, that the prime suspect is an unknown bird because even Okosan wouldn't describe that robot as a bird. Nope. All right, that's uh, everything. Well, Dad's out. Adieu! Uh, Maria runs away. Oh, well, we, we should head out, too. Uh, but first, let's write down what we found. All right, uh, uh, let's go. Because uh, I just wrote it down, and then I did it. It's fine. And so we walked all about the school, searching for clues of Boyder and the mysterious blood-stained stra stranger. We were lucky enough to avoid encountering the scarecrow, but we didn't find any information, either. Where to now? Hmm. It's dark, so we've been at this for a while. I mean, Naki has probably gotten the key for us. By now. Hours later, because it takes that long to walk to the place and pick it up. I let us return to the lab. Honestly, like, this is so ridiculously long. It feels like the pacing is just ground to a halt, kind it of. It does. Like, and also, like, the again, other stuff, really, like, when without you... additional conventions of, like, point and click or actual puzzle solving or anything like that, it feels needlessly lengthy. Yeah. Like, it feels like it's trying to put in gameplay where there is no gameplay. Mm -hmm. And so the length of it is really confusing. Yeah, I'm like, this is, this almost feels, like, really self-indulgent. Like, uh, this Look is... at my story. Yeah. Look at my things that I can do. But I was like, yeah, most of this isn't really a lot of exposition about the world or about people or anything. So it's sort of weird again if solve this mystery but you're not really solving it it's you're just not... you're just watching it go by yeah and like there are options you're supposed to pick and choose and granted i am using a guide but it's also like now you can't fail the ending so this doesn't feel as nearly i don't know i'm just like i wish i had more choices like i see the thing i or don't again, like where people go here's your mystery saying, now you're write supposed... this down figure this out sounds like it should be a point and click uh -huh. puzzle solver yep mm. uh. let us return to the lab oh uh. uh, okay lab. Uh. What is it? Did, did you say something just now? I did not. Could it be that confounded scarecrow who I couldn't hear again? Uh, no, it's not him. I, I thought I, I heard somebody say something. Bob, don't scare me like that. I mean, I don't scare, though, though we've been walking around half the day. It's hardly surprising that your mind should be playing tricks on you. It's a very commoner thing to do. I, this is uh... really weird. Uh, the library? What if there's somebody in here? They might not have heard the alarm. Let's check! Very well. How did we just randomly end up at the library? Especially after going, we should go get the key from Nanaki. And we're just library now. Because Ryota thinks he heard something. So if you're now so connecting far, more closer and closer to death, basically my assumption is, so again, spoilers, um, I assume at this point you've basically seen all the other end names. The character that's in the library is actually a ghost, is a is dead, dead bird. So, so maybe they can they can help out. A far, right. a far removed from the emergency throughout the rest of the school, the library is the same as always. Empty. It is a little gloomier than usual. Oh, they can't see him. I... I guess there's no one here. Pull yourself together, Kawara. I have no use for subordinates who lose hold of their sanity. Since when am I your subordinate? Oh Since I told you that I was leading and spearheading this this investigation. And you were assisting me. Sorry, Saku. Yeah. Let's head back to the lab. Kai despise you so much sometimes. Ugh. It's okay. Uh, as long as you leave me in charge. No, I swear I heard something. Something. Something 
bad happened. I should have known what would happen after this. If it hadn't been for me, none of it would have happened at all. What was I trying to do here? What did I see? Why can't I remember? Oh, poor thing. Uh, I can't hear. What are you saying? You, you're fading away. It's too far. Miss Seed Pie! Oof. Oh. Ah. Uh. Uh, I'm missing the knocky. We're Whoa. gonna have to see though what's going on in the next one because I don't think I want to pull what I did last time because I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, because so, we, we we went for an hour because we thought we would just get to the end, but now now we're looking at this and going, okay, okay, I, this, this there's gonna be another episode for sure. All yes. right, guys, so so thirty minutes it is, which is our usual day to day. Uh huh. And uh, we have, I'm fascinated. It's weird. I'm not really sure how to commentate on some of this because there's also very few choices, and also now we're dealing with a very different character. I am frustrated though, like my friend is pointing out, and I have been pointing out. I really I really think this would be way more interesting if it was actually more like point and click and it really just sort of shifted genres as in that say, way to make it even more like something else and going let's do a murder mystery but this right because it sounds it, like they deliberately wanted to shift to a very different structure not a slightly different structure a very different structure yeah but then they just didn't do it for some reason yeah and um but again it, it acts like you're supposed to be solving puzzles and solving a mystery but there's nothing to actually like do really except for those two little choices which obviously if if you could fail those could be weighty but it doesn't they don't feel like that and well, it, there's also <sighs> clearly a lot of places where they removed the choices mm -hmm. um because of you know the which one should we do well, we'll do this kind of thing like it sets up for we're going to choose but then the uh, character chooses and so again this is sort of wild and also like there's not a whole lot of like world building or you know possible like contradictory or suddenly new information in here well it's literally just walking back and forth from, from things we've already seen to things we've already seen well and the thing is is what i'm wondering if especially since I'm the one who's actually seen all the endings at this point, my friend actually still has not, not um, is basically this concept that the the story that we saw was basically the lie that I said earlier that basically Birder believes hap like it's just the but story she, she tells herself. herself. Yeah. Um, and these are the real characters. And at this point, you really are like, what the fuck is going on? And I have to say, like, this kind of it's interesting. But I am emotionally more detached now, in a way, sort of just like, oh, well, you know, it's kind of interesting, I guess. But the genre shift and also a now these might be completely different people is really off-putting. And now you have to spend all your time trying to figure people out, but you're not really spending a lot of time with, with them. With any of them. And so it's like, again, the, the real solid genre shift without a functional shift to the game to me is really uh, jarring. Yeah. I don't specifically like, oh, bad choice, you shouldn't have no. done that. But it is just a, it's harder to connect with it and also like, what are we doing here? Because again, it doesn't feel like, let's find out who killed Bordeaux. It feels more like, let's go and do tiny fetch quests and let's go do other tiny fetch quests and let's wander around in a point and click style adventure. Right. And that's also again where I'm like, Boida. This feels a little strange, and I don't know what to, like again. Like I agree with my friend. This doesn't make this a bad game. It's just it's, it's a little like it is is has upset my foundation because I got really like invested in the whole like ridiculousness kind of with Bird, and you're like, okay, something probably is going on, but this is okay. And now this is just like. Bam. It's also a little rough to just have the character <clears throat> playing the whole time just suddenly be dead, and it's one of those 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 um they're dead like time skip kind of things. It gives a short time skip from one evening to the next day. But it's like, there's no closure. There's no connection to it. There's no experience. It's basically they going, okay, so, and then, you know, your whole party goes to sleep and one of you just doesn't wake up. Uh-huh, but the and thing is... And you're the one playing that character. Right. And that's sort of... I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so um, we'll see you guys then in the next one. Thank we you very will. much for joining us. We do really appreciate having you here. If you like what we do, please kindly help us save us from the YouTube algorithm by liking, commenting, and subscribing. It really Potentially helps us out a lot. Also share the video, which yes. helps us as well. If you think someone else would enjoy our styling. Yes, it would be fabulous, actually, if you did so, because, uh, you know, any help that, that, that helps. Any interaction makes us a lot more visible. Yes. Um. Also, please feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi and our Patreon if you like what we do and you would like to continue to support us on our journey of trying to make our own set up better Yay. and make the videos more fun for everyone. Hey! Um, and yeah, my uh, name is Scandal and I have been here for you. And I, I have been Lies and I have also been here for you. And, and it was great playing with you. Bye!